Hello, everybody. We're back. Hello. This is IJ. And AG. Um, and we're here to um, go into this day in court, uh, September 5th, right? Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> September 5th. Very clearly. You can see September 5th, 5.92 a.m. You know how it be. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Actually, do you want me to control it for a bit since you're still eating? I'm good. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah, Phoenix, look! Pro Prosecutor Edgeworth? I received a call from the Chief Prosecutor's Office yesterday. Hmm? I was told that whatever Mr. White says today will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony. If I raise an objection, I have on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What does White have? Does the White have the judge in his pocket too? He's too dumb to fit him into, into his pocket. Yeah, probably. So you're saying I'm going to be guilty, end of story? I'll do everything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty Evidence. will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who's guilty and who is innocent. Evidence? All I can do is hope to get every defendant declared guilty. So, I make that my policy. Edgeworth, you've changed. You, you've you eaten and slept and possibly hugged someone. Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? Phoenix? Well... Court will be starting soon. What? But wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. They're not... I'll be defending myself. Because that usually goes well. What? Okay, let's do this. He says, slightly, um, slightly exhausted. Exactly at 10 a.m. Okay. Rubble, rubble, rubble. Court is now in session for the trial of... Mr. Phoenix Wright. Prosecution is ready. And the fence is ready, Your Honor. M Mr. Wright, you're sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I'll be defending myself. Uh, understood. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, today we'll be hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. Prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness hadn't testified before? Because he's been bribed. It's, like, it's like he already knows why. Because he does. If anyone's gonna raise an objection about it, I suppose it's me. What is there to raise him? Hmm. I'm not sure we have an angle either way is the thing. But are we gonna be curb stomped for it? I wonder if we should just raise an objection to try to get the court to, uh, to realize, you know, he hasn't come forward before and we have on good authority by other witnesses that he was near the scene of the crime, near other witnesses. But not in the hotel. Yeah, so why Wait. didn't he come forward? Mr. Edgeworth, you owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against uh, Maya Fey? Because everyone's been bribed, don't you know? Hmm. I am ever so sorry. No, you're not. Mr. White is a busy man. Too busy for justice, it seems. At the time, I thought that Miss May's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. 
Because I would. He gets a show off, and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. You were doing this guy's voice, remember? Oh yeah, give me a second. <laughs> I don't quite have the energy to do his voice, but I'm gonna do my best. Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage? Holy oh, crap. Oh, so extra. Uh, your name. Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do, do my locutions confuse? No, but your dictionary does. <laughs> Edgeworth is so done. Look at how done he is. Oh, Name. Let's do a great together. My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. Because it's not Nino, because there's no tilde over the end. You tell him let's hack. I'm the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Bad you know, I'm starting to think that he's actually pronouncing CEO as an actual word. So he's like, Seo? I'm the CEO. No, it's the SEO. <laughs> I'm the SEO. He's, uh, he's putting way more syllables and way more energy into it. Yeah. Did you know the victim is Mia Fey? That's leading the witness. That would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder? Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there? That's lead. He is leading the witness hardcore. Well, it's because he needs to get him into the exact right spot for him to actually talk about it. And I think Edgeworth might actually know that he's guilty. Yeah. And I. Th and this okay. might be where he figures it out. Okay, so I have a lot clearer memories of the second and third game. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let you know that right now. Mm -hmm. I do not remember half of the cases in this game, and even less of the cases of the second one. I just know a lot of the case endings of the second one. Mm -hmm. I know a lot about the third one because I played that a lot. <laughs> I've never played these, um, but man, it does uh, kind of feel like this guy. It does kind of feel like worst. that Edworth t came to us to let us basically know, like, hey, I'm on your side here. Let's try to get this guy together, but not. But I can't say it out loud because there could yes. be recording information, and White's got ears. White's got ears in the sink. <laughs> yeah. He knows what kind, what kind of shampoo you, what kind of shampoo you use. Yeah. Very well, Mr. White. You may begin your testimony. Well, I can't rip this guy's testimony apart. I'm done for. Good thing it's I always super feel easy. like it's the end of the world, and I'm the last man standing. Because you are. Ho ho ho. Oh wait. Oh 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 ho ho ho. I'm, the most, I'm trying to do the most smarmy unnecessary. I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Law Lawyer. Let him have it, Phoenix. Wait, Maya, what are you doing on the stand? I know, what are you doing at the stand? Shouldn't you be in holding? <laughs> uh, no, she was let out because she was vindicated because of the time discrepancy. Oh, I didn't catch that. Mm. Okay. Witness account. Let's see, it was about... Nine o'clock, I believe. I I was quietly perusifying uh, that reading tape. No, it's not. Perusing. You just squished together the words peruse and crucifying. <laughs> <laughs> or testifying, one of those words. I don't believe he would know such a word, Sean. He just makes up words. That's reading to you some papers by the window. This testimony will be my true test. <laughs> then I heard a bedlam coming from the other, coming from outside. He at least used that word partially correctly. I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was that I saw him 
A spiky haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She too was flabbergasted. Of course. He actually. There's nothing wrong in this sentence. I think I'm more surprised by that than anything else that he didn't add AI on, AI on the other non words in there. What? Well, see how long it can last. I mean, it would have been great if it was flabbergastrated. And it's like. It was like, uh, you're, you're so close. Why? Why'd you make it even weirder? <laughs> you just made it weird. The victim. She. She ran away, but you gave chase! Finally, there was a terrible impaction. <laughs> oh, there it is. Then it was all over. Ooh, that feels hard. What? I can't actually figure out what's wrong. I can't actually figure out what's wrong with that. That's weird. There was only one person in the hotel room. No, we know for a fact that there was two. Yeah, but he wasn't there that night. I know, but there's nothing that we can actually, like, hold him to. If things occurred as you testify, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant. I mean, Mr. Wright. For cross-examination. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, let's just start pressing everything he has, and let's try to see where where it falls apart. How do you know what time it was? Cause, all right. Because I am always absolutely perfect, you know. No, you're not getting aware of that one. You were so mistrusting, Mr. Lawyer. You have us on the stand to get to get hanged come sun up. <laughs> so what was the proper term for secretary again? Anyway, Miss May ordered room service for nine o'clock. It happened soon after the room service arrived. That's what Miss May said too. I, uh, the other one. I, I don't know what we can basically say if we push further. So let's hold back for now. Mm -hmm. We can always come back to this. Mm -hmm. Don't see anything to gain by attacking him on this point any further. Okay, what were you doing at the time? Okay, crucifying. Oh wait, no. We hadn't done the one yet. By the window, you mean the one directly across from Fei and Co. And you were reading papers? Correct. The Gate Water is a businessman's hotel, and I'm a busy man who had business to do. Okay. Uh, Bedlam? It must have been when you attacked, I assume. We see. Continue. <laughs> I like how he was asking him to clarify what the definition of the word was, but everyone was like, no, 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 no. So you're reading your papers until you heard that sound. But of course I am no snoop peeping out of windows all night. Well, that's true, you weren't because you were busy killing someone. <laughs> yeah. You had no time to do such a thing. No snoop. Yeah, right. You made a career out of snooping. Snooping as usual, I see. Hmm. Spiky-haired. That's it. Press it again? No, 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 no. Not the other one. Press. I think I might actually know where we need the... Um, what we need to do. But, yeah. But you said just directly com uh, conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly stated that the assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? 
Money. <laughs> Counting both eyes, 40. Oh my god. Whoa. I can't. I can't. Don't add them together. Man, if you needed any other... I think the witness is trying to say he has good eyesight. Don't help him. Whose side are you on, Judge? Decide to convict you, so so that everybody can sweep this mess under the rug, even despite the fact everyone wants to put this guy away. They just don't know how. And what did you do then? Called her over. What was Miss May doing at the time? Fleur? Fleur being with the bellboy, of course. She had just finished watching a soap opera on the TV and was weeping openly. Did you know that she had been tapping the Faye phone office? Irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the case at hand. Yeah, it does. I care not. I will answer the, the lawyer's bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the phone of this fey woman. You'd make a good politician, Mr. White. Ho ho, I know. After all, I am El Presidente. I have a feeling that he also pronounced that wrong somehow. I... Sean... My Spanish is good the enough eel where I can possibly pronounce it wrong. I can't do it. If you somehow pronounce that eel president, I would be surprised. I Presidentless. <sighs> this man's this man is a menace to this man is a menace to society. Can you be a little bit more detailed about that? Oh, here we go. I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, compre comprende. I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. We got him. We got him. <laughs> yeah, we got him. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't this the thing that we yes. were taught, talking about last game? I was like, I instantly knew that that was probably going to happen because this is a Phoenix Wright game and they wouldn't give you evidence if it wasn't important. You gave chase and struck her down with the vengeance of a thousand suns. Are you sure? Oh, Miles knows. He knows too. Miles he knows, knows too. the case is done. <laughs> Miles knows what it's done for. Because now we have the ability to press him on it. Yeah. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect the new detail. I'm going to just instantly just press him. Present it? Yeah. Sorry, present him with this. What? Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, that's the first hit we took, and it's because I jumped the gun on that one. Did you hit the wrong one? No, I hit the right one, but I think we have to press him on it. Are you sure about that? How many times must I say it? I am absolutely perfect. End of story. How many times must I hear that? Phoenix, doesn't something about that strike you as a little odd? Why, yes, it is odd. Finally there, it was an impa a terrible impaction. She fell over. Uh, impaction? Don't you just mean impact? Ridiculousity. I think you need to brush up on your language skills. I think you need to, need to pick up a dictionary. On second thought, perhaps I'll just leave the entire whole language thing aside. Did Edward prep this guy too, I wonder? Anyway, I'd better find a weakness in there. Okay. You know, I remember that we were able to press him a little bit harder on this one. Hmm. 
room surface at 9, as soon after the room surface arrived. True, the bellboy who brought the coffee saw Miss May, but he testified that he did not see you at the time. Ahem, this is your concern? Silly lawyer, Miss May received the coffee outside of the room. Why? Oh yeah, I should have probably seen the... the... uh... The CG of course over there. he would not see me. He would need x-ray vision to pull off something like that. Hmm. Tell us, what were you doing at the time? Uh, yeah. So where do we start? Because we need to... Again, I tried presenting floor plans. Here. I'm gonna just sit down right there. What's your plan? Okay. There it is. Ooh. There it is. Oh, I see what you mean. Victim gave chase, and then there was an impact. Ran to the left. Hmm? See the evidence. Look at the, uh, May... May's testimony. Okay. Objection. Yeah, that's, that's what's was up. Mm -hmm. Wait right there. Mr. White, you've dug your own grave. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left, but that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that she saw the victim run to the right. Oh, it is simple. You have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. There we go. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. The killer was here. And the victim, uh, let's just say she was here. The victim ran to the left, as you claim she because did. Because May didn't see it. No, it's because that would have been t uh, that would have been to the left from his point of view. Mm -hmm. She would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? Very strange. I did not see her run to the left. I did see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe he really did see the victim run to the left. So he did witness the killing. Wait a second. Mr. Wright? Uh, yeah, Your Honor? Ms. May says right, and, and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Both are right. Both witnesses are telling the truth. Huh, I doubt it. Rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario that exactly would explain their one. conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Because that is the only way that they're both right. Yeah. And that's the only way not to throw further shade onto it. Because why would he say left and may say right? Mr. Right, what do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? He was not viewing the crime from the hotel? If he was not in the hotel, where he could have been? Where could he have been? In the law offices, of course. He's right. More specifically, he was standing here. Can you show up where he was standing? The victim. <laughs> I kind of want to, but I know we might actually take damage when we do that. Don't do that, please. This is where he was. Look. When the victim ran for the door, he was watching from this point. It would have, It would have appeared that she ran to the left. 
please. This is no time for jokes of ill taste. This is where the killer was standing. <laughs> Congratulations, that's worth you, you, you Five do understand. Five points for the prosecution. You're doing well, Edgeworth. I will have order. Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, are you suggesting? Rapscallion! The postulations of the defense are a disor distortion of the truth, Your Honor. I was about to say disorientation. I'm like, so are we saying that his testimony is false then? Because either way we won. Effectively, yeah. Mm -hmm. Either he's wrong and his testimony can be thrown out or he's right. And yeah. he, he saw her run to the left. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. <laughs> you provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing? The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this, I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, might I be allowed to testify once more and get more things wrong? Yeah. And get more things wrong? Please get more things wrong. Very right, well, let's hear your revised testimony. He looks so done, too. In the next episode. Okay. Yeah. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.